Hey guys, I'm here to film a video. I've got two up and running around. Well, one is sitting in my lap at the moment. But I am here to film a video on how to keep a clean and organized home during the holiday time when it's super chaotic. I just want to help you guys out with a few tips that I've found over time that really help me year round and especially during the holidays. So let's go ahead and jump in. First tip is I do a clean out two or three times a year, typically sometime over the summer, in the spring, and also in the fall and winter. So I do more than like three. I do like probably like 10 a year, um, but not super huge ones, but I do a few of them that are super huge where I go through everything. The first thing is you wanna go through all of your closets, all of your kids' dressers when the season changes or right before pull all that stuff out, throw it in a garbage bag or a tote, put it out somewhere. Nobody can get to till the next season you need it or that you're gonna be donating it. Bob. What? Bob. And that way you have Bob. all the room for Bob. the clothes your Bob. kids are gonna be wearing this Bob. season and you don't have to worry about excess stuff that your kids are pulling out and having to put it back up because nobody has time to be putting up summer clothes when we're in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. The second one is go through your kitchen, your coffee mugs, your cups, your plates, everything in your kitchen. If you have not used it in the last six months, get rid of it. If it's nasty, get rid of it. Just replace things little by little and get things out of your kitchen that is taking up space for things that you really enjoy and that you use all the time. Next thing, number three, I don't do laundry except for on the weekends. Only exception to that is I do wash work clothes every night. The clothes that I wear to work, I wash every night when I get home. And then everything else, bedding, kids clothes during the weeks, my pajamas, towels, wash rags, all of that have their own bins. My kids have a laundry basket for their clothes. I have a laundry basket for my clothes that I wear at night and all my undergarments. And then I have a basket for towels and wash rags and all of that gets washed on the weekend. And then I just take like an hour every Saturday or Sunday and fold it all. It's a toy gun. I fold it all and that's it. I, I don't do it during the week. It's just too chaotic for me and doing weekend laundry for about an hour every week just works really well for me. Number four, I don't clean during the week. Obviously, I mean, I do like a little five to 10 minute tidy up every night that I get home, whether it's putting kids shoes up that are out and aren't in their home. Um, I do load the, the dishwasher every night, um, things like that, take the trash out, the basic things. And I do like a minimum of a 10 minute tidy up just to keep things picked up. So my house is never perfect but I'm so exhausted when I get home. So I just do the little things during the week, whether it's like I said, picking up shoes, picking up a few toys, cleaning off the counter or the table whenever I have the chance, loading dishes in the dishwasher, everything else. I do a deep clean of my bathroom and all the bedrooms every weekend. And also my main living area, which is my living room, dining room and kitchen that is all in one area. Number five, I throw toys away. Little pieces of toys or games that are broken or things that I just see my kids really don't play with and they get tossed out of the toy bins whenever they're playing and they don't touch it, I throw them away. And also right before their birthdays, before Easter and before Christmas, we do a huge clean out of toys. Typically my kids pick about 10 to 15 toys to get rid of, whether it's little things or big things, to make room for the things coming into our home. Number six, same thing on the toy agenda type thing. I have an organizational system for our toys that work really well. We just have a little bin that came from a thrift store. It's an organizer and it has about six organizers. There's a big one on bottom, two medium ones in the middle and three smaller ones on top. And the things get organized that way, whether it's bigger toys go on the bottom that fit like Nerf guns, cars go in one, people and animals go in one, Legos go in one, and you get the gist. And all of the toys that don't fit, especially the huge ones, go in the toy box in their room. And so they know exactly where everything goes every night when they get ready to go to bed. 
Number seven, make a list when you're going grocery shopping for meals. So that way you don't have leftover stuff in the pantry that you don't use. And also if you do have leftover things, use that for your next grocery trip. Typically when I host for Christmas, I make a list of everything I'm making, all the ingredients, and I go get it about a week before. And I just always make sure I have that list until that meal is made and done. So I know that I've used up everything and I have everything and I'm not running out on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day to get gifts or food. Number eight, speaking of Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, once they've opened all their gifts and went through everything Santa got them in their stockings, I keep a pile, two piles. My kids have, one kid has this pile over here. One kid has this pile over here. I'm taking photos or video of them opening gifts and I have a trash bag by me. As they open gifts one at a time, they do about one gift and then they rotate each until they're all open and we throw the trash in the trash bag. And so all I have to do is move their separate piles into their room of all their things and we can open up the few things they really want to get into immediately and then the rest of it gets pushed off to the side until the day kind of slows down from all of the cra crazy Christmas events. Another way I have found keeping dirt coming from coming in and out of the house Anytime my shoes, my kids' shoes, like tennis shoes, things like that get super dirty, they go straight into the wash, they get washed, and then they get dried just by air. I just leave them out to air dry, and that really keeps down on dirt going in and out of the house. Another thing that I really do for Christmas that really helps keep clutter down is gift giving. So with our gift giving, I try to really be mindful of what I'm getting. I do like to get them new toys, whether it's six or seven new toys. But I try to keep the categories like one or two bigger things and the rest of it smaller stuff so we're not taking up a ton of space. And I also try to gift like some candy, um, craft kits things like that that can be used up and then thrown away so it's not sitting in my house forever i also try to do useful things like pillows blankets things like that that my kids will use and they actually have a home in their bed and it's not all over the house i hope this video was helpful for you i'll definitely make them another video like this. If you are interested in this on seeing more tips that I use to keep my house kind of clutter free as much as possible as a single parent. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.